What's good guys, thank you for clicking on today's video. I'm gonna be showcasing you guys a way to bring up energy within your music videos. It's very simple and it's all to do with keyframes. So if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell notification. And if you have been enjoying the content I've been posting, smash that like button. If you guys are interested in any sort of presets, feel free to go into my description and download yours today. But let's head straight into this video. So the first thing you wanna do is obviously have your video available in your timeline, wherever you're editing it. So the first thing you wanna do is just have your clip and we're just gonna to go to effect controls. It's very simple. I'm gonna pick a part where you wanna use the keyframes. So we're gonna mark from the start and we're gonna go all the way to around here, okay? And that's where we're gonna do our cutoff point. And that is where you wanna put our M. So now you can see from the start to the end here, very simple. And all you wanna do is keyframe scale and position. And that's gonna create your keyframes right here so that you can move this video, zooming out, moving the position, wherever you want to. Now for a shot like this, we wanna go for a nice zoom out. So we're gonna scale this up, I'd say to around here. Let's just improve the qualities for you guys so you can see what's going on. So I'd say around here and then maybe position it to the left a little bit, something like this. And then just go to around the halfway point and just return and reset these keyframes, simple as. Highlight the last keyframes and drag them to the end of the clip. So now when you watch that back, you've got a nice zoom out with the keyframes. It's so simple guys, but when you have a lot of videos with energy and you want things to be moving at a certain pace, you can mess around with the keyframes. You can have it zoom in a little bit more if you wanted to, position it up and you'll have like a nice faster zoom there where it gradually just speeds up, which looks sick. Again, even on this clip right here, you might wanna have a nice zoom in. So we're just slightly zooming in like that. And look at that, simple as. And now the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is how to utilize keyframes in Adobe After Effects, which is my next tutorial. So let's head straight into After Effects. So now we are back in After Effects. I've decided to choose this clip because I know exactly what I'm gonna do with it. So I'm just gonna Control Shift D to split this layer because I don't want this part of the clip. So we're just gonna make sure we focus on this section right here. So what I usually do is, depending on the beat, depending on how the song sounds, and what sort of shot that is being displayed on screen within the edit, I'd say around here, as soon as he puts his hand up, is where I'm gonna add a keyframe to zoom in. So we're just gonna simply go down to the clip, we're gonna go to transform, and we're gonna start to keyframe what we want to. So literally, I'm gonna do position and scale again for this effect, and we're just gonna move this to around here. I'd say here, so then when it gets to here, when he puts his hand up, we can zoom in, scale up, like that, something like that. And then if you wanted to zoom out again, we could scale up another keyframe here, and then just reset these keyframes as we get towards the end, and just draw that there. So then you're gonna have something looking like this, in my opinion, we can just drag this back just a little bit more. Something like that, yeah. Now to me, when we look at that, it looks very choppy. It doesn't look nice at all. So the way to smoothen this out, what I usually do is highlight the keyframes and I press F9 on the keyboard to easy ease them. And then we're gonna go to our motion blur, which is right here. So we're gonna make sure that it's toggled. And now when we watch this back, this is the sort of look we got. And that is the smooth look that we want. However, some of you guys might not like the way that looks. So I just usually highlight one keyframe, which is the position. And then I go to the speed graph and I just adjust the graph with the speed. So say for example, if I wanted it on 88 on each side, I would do something like that. So then now we're getting a fast zoom with a different type of movement, but we might wanna just slow that down a little bit, just to around, I don't know, 76. So it looks something like that. And then we can go to the end keyframes where it zooms back in and just create a graph similar to this, something like that. So now when we watch that, we got a little bit of a movement going with it and it kind of slows down towards the end. So it's very simple guys, just adding a lot of energy to your clip, making that music video a lot more effective. And what we can do with this is for some extra source, if you really wanna spice this up, as soon as it zooms in here, which is these second keyframes right here, right click, click new, adjustment layer, 
and then we can literally start to add an effect when it zooms in so if you guys want to use the presets in my description feel free to grab them and we can go to our ultimate shake pack we can go to bouncy shake and we can drag that onto our adjustment layer and then we can play around with the keyframes just press u on the keyboard and just move it around until we get to that keyframe part where it zooms in and just slowly adjust it so then now when it zooms in we got something like that which looks so sick so you can see how keyframes can make your videos look so effective you can add keyframes on top of keyframes like this for example these keyframes here are within the shake effect but on top of that i've added a keyframe onto the video to kind of zoom it in with the shake to make it look sick and you guys can use a different shake if you don't really like the way that shake looks you can try something else let's just say bouncy wire shake and we can add that to our adjustment layer here and then again press u on the keyboard and just slowly move it until we see that they've zoomed in and then we can control shift d on the keyboard and delete the start of the last keyframe and just bring that in there so then we got that zoom in and we got the shake with it so guys you can experiment with this you can make things look a lot better and in my opinion keyframes are very important within music videos you can imagine that a lot of editors do tend to use it so guys feel free to add your own source to this make sure that you're making your music videos look a lot more watchable and a lot more entertaining so guys, if this helped you, make sure you smash that like button. In the comments below, let me know what you think of this video. Do you guys use keyframes a lot in your music videos? Let me know, man. If you're new to the channel, like I always say, hit the subscribe button, bell notification. And if you want to learn how to apply these shakes in depth, feel free to click the video that you're seeing on screen right now. And I'll catch you in the next video. Love.